ako ng jet ski, daladala ko yung flag ng Pilipino. When Rodrigo Duterte ran for the presidency in 2016, he vowed to defend Filipino fishermen at all costs. Years later, that promise to jet ski to the South China Sea turned out to be an electioneering stunt. That was my bravado. It was a pure campaign joke. And a huge disappointment to the thousands of Filipino fishermen who voted for him here in the town of Masinloc in Zambales province. For us, our livelihood is not a joke. It is a matter of survival for our families. It's absurd. The Scarborough Shoal is 124 miles from the province and well within the exclusive economic zone claimed by the Philippines. But Chinese warships seized control of the reef 10 years ago. Since then, Innocentes Ferronis says he's faced constant harassment from Chinese vessels. One time, I was surrounded inside a triangle of three Chinese ships. I was in a small wooden vessel and they were all still. I thought it was the end of my life. Why are we fishing like we are thieves in our own waters? That is ours. Duterte and China's President Xi Jinping announced that their countries will broaden the space for more positive engagements. But such dialogue is far from the realities at sea. Chinese and Philippine Coast Guard ships almost collided last month in what the Filipino crew said was a dangerous maneuver and clear violation of international law. China's so-called Nine Dash Line, which claims most of the South China Sea, has already been declared invalid in 2016 by an international tribunal. But that has not stopped China from its expansions and incursions in the South China Sea. In fact, since then, more than 240 diplomatic protests have been filed by the Philippines against China, 183 of which were filed last year. Duterte is stepping down in July, and the campaign for his replacement is well underway. Many Filipinos say that after years of policy of appeasement towards China, they're eager for a tougher stance, a more treacherous course for the next Philippine leader to navigate. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Masinloc in Zambales, Northern Philippines.